Hey guys, just wanted to show you something a little cool I'm working on today. This is a late 1960s, probably a, a 68 or a 69 Emerson radio. Uh, it's a model 31T56, and it's made by the National Union Electronics Corp, uh, probably shortly after the takeover. Uh, not sure who it was made for in Japan by, but uh, it's a pretty serious radio. Uh, it's got dual tuners for AM and FM. It's got a three-stage FM IF. Uh, down underneath the tuner there is an active tone control and preamp section. You've got a, uh, a no-shit driver board which fires into a set of TO66 type output transistors, so probably good for a couple watts at least. And uh, it's got a regulated power supply here, although primitive. And it's a uh, pretty well-built thing. It's an all-metal chassis. You can see the power transformer there is sizable for a radio. Nice, simple controls up front. And I just got done recapping it, and so what I want to do now is uh, hook a speaker up to it and see how it's working. And then if it works well, then we can work on the alignment and stuff. So uh, let's get a speaker hooked up and see what it sounds like. All right, so we got our speaker hooked up back here, which is actually a CTS driver from a Bose 901 Series 1, supposed to be pretty good full range. We've got our chassis, we've got our primitive FM antenna, so let's see what happens. That sounds like AM. And I got nothing. Nothing but noise. But I do have volume. I do have bass and treble, so it is getting some kind of a signal, which is attenuable. Okie dokie. So we're going to have to put this one on the bench and see what happens. Alright, let's check our work here. Let's go over these boards, since I did recap them. Look for any crummy solders or solder bridges I might have created. Nothing there. Ugh, jitter jitter. Sorry about that folks. Nothing there. Let's look on the tuner board since I did a lot of work here. Focus. That area there looks questionable. I need to check and see if there's things there that are, should be soldered that aren't. And the regulated supply looks okay, which makes sense. I think the problem's in the radio. Uh, reason why I say that is because I've got adjustable static and uh, adjustable tone for the statics. I can make the tone more hissy, more rumbly, whatever. So uh, let's look here in the radio and see if any of my work I previously did is the reason for its fuck up. Problem with recapping things is oftentimes if you get interrupted or something, you don't remember things or if you're like me, sometimes I get absent-minded and I'll bridge two connections together without knowing it. So let's take a look at this area up here, and let me do some tests and stuff, and then we'll we'll see where we're at. Who knows, it might actually be part of the regulated power supply uh, that's putting out power to the tuner, which I think is supposed to be about 12 volts. We'll see. Sure enough, I found the problem. I made a mistake, and I severed a foil trace when I was replacing a capacitor. See there next to the number 5? Hey, look! Yeah, I was not getting any uh, 20 volts to the regulator, and when I short it with my probe, Invention Center, December 20. what do you know? All right. Operator error. Let's fix the trace and then see how it runs. All right, let's try this again. Cocoa 
south all the way over to Seaport Village. You get... After I know... God, come on. I've got to maintain. Designed Pretty sensitive tuner, actually. Or so he has to give you... All right. That blank spot is my signal generator up there. And if we turn up the oscillator, you can hear. Got a little bit of distortion there in the detector. You might adjust that a little bit. But uh, it's pretty sensitive. Turn the signal down. Pretty selective for the most part. So yeah, pretty cool little thing. I think I'm going to align it and then uh, put it back in the cabinet and see how it really sounds. So before I put the back on, check this out. An Onkyo speaker. And the cabinet is sealed and dampened. And the back is also dampened. So this is really designed to be a hi-fi thing. This wasn't a cheapie. So let's put it together and see how it really sounds. Can't wait. All right, here she is all reassembled. You can see it's a pretty slick looking table radio. I like it. Kind of reminds me of my Sony up there. You remember that one. So let's listen to how it actually sounds. Now I won't be able to stay on stations long because of the whole copyright thing. So bear with me here. I think he taught me what GPS was. Like, I literally didn't even know. <laughs> Pretty uh, sensitive radio. Very selective, too. They could have put a better selector switch on here. There's KFI 640 LA. 600 of San Diego. 570 LA. 540. So, yeah, this thing is... Uh, Young women to this thing is in really good shape now. I think they're going to like that. That gives my Sony a run for its money in the radio department. But Sony, I think, sounds better. Anyways, hope you guys watch, uh, enjoyed watching the video. I'm going to pile more stuff out here soon when I get a chance. Thanks for watching.